Hello everybody, so today I decided that we would head out to Silver Ridge Peaks on a mule deer hunt and use some of the handguns because I've had a lot of people request that I use handguns again ever since I did the handgun video about a month and a half ago. I've had so many people say that they wanted to see more handgun videos, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go for a little mule deer hunt with the handguns and see what we can bag. I still really need to find a good rare. We've only got a small albino and I'm pretty sure I've got a large piebald in one of my older lodges, but I need a really nice rare for the newest lodge. So that's kind of what we're going to be looking for today. Obviously, if we find ourselves a diamond, that's obviously going to be a good thing too. But the main goal is to try and find either an albino or melanistic, preferably, because those are two trophies that we really need to add to our lodge. But we're just going to be testing out the handguns at different ranges on the mule deer and see how they perform. I did forget to mention at the beginning there what handguns I was using and I've got the 454 with me and the 357. So those are the guns we're going to be using today. I'm probably going to try and use the 357 the most just because I've already used the 454 quite a bit and we haven't used the 357 so that's going to be the gun I primarily try to use so we'll see how it performs on these mule deer. This is about as small of a gun as you'd want to use on them so I'm not exactly sure how it's going to fare. Okay, so there's that level 4 mule deer that we spotted. Let's see if maybe we can get this guy to stop. And if he stops, we'll try to take a shot, because that's a very nice looking mule deer. I'd love to get a rare respawn from this guy. Just because of the size of him, there's a good chance that a respawn from him would be a pretty good one. So let's take our first shot with the 454, and then we'll use the 357 right after. So let's see if we can get the aiming point down. That should take him down. It should take him down even if we missed vitals. Looks like we did miss the vitals a little bit, so that's unfortunate. Alright, well, that mule deer did die eventually, so we're just gonna go get him. I don't know where that other four went, but I think we'll just go ahead and kill this goat right here, and then head over to collect our muley. There we go, that thing absolutely dropped. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab this little goat right here. We double lunged it, 56 trophy rating, this was from 94 meters, we aimed just at the spine and it had barely any drops, so that's good to know. Alright, here's that little mule deer, let's go ahead and see where we hit, I'm very curious. Okay, so both of them were too high, so we don't need to compensate as much as I thought we do, so that's good to know. That'll make it a little easier on our next mid-range shot, so let's go ahead and move to a different lake. I Wait, is that a piebald? I think that might be a piebald female. Yeah, that is. Well, we got a piebald. That's not exactly what I was hoping for out of a rare. But I guess I did just say we needed a rare. I never really specified, but... I guess that'll do for now. We don't have a rare mule deer in our lodge besides that albino that we killed. So, we definitely do need a piebald. And since it's a female... It'll probably just be a placeholder for now. It'll get replaced eventually, but that's still pretty cool. Still pretty cool to find. I'm not sure where this little piebald went, but one thing that I am super happy about is the fact that it's actually the larger piebald pattern because there is two of them for those of you that did not know. There's a smaller pattern and then there's a larger pattern and this one has the larger pattern. So that is really cool. We definitely need to get her down once she shows herself again because she did go behind the trees. But, hopefully she'll pop out again pretty soon. I'm actually not exactly sure where she went. I have not seen her in a little while. I could have swore she just ducked behind this tree, but... I actually don't even know now. I haven't seen her for probably about five minutes if I were to take a guess, and... A little concerning, because... She just kind of disappeared out of nowhere. She went behind the tree and has not shown herself since. And actually, there she is right there. So let's go ahead and line up before they spook off. Try this right here. And that is good. So we got the aiming point down for that range. Nice. So that was about at about 120 meters. We just barely had to aim high. Not too bad, not too bad at all. That is a piebald female mule deer down. It's better than nothing. It's definitely better than nothing. All right, here's that beautiful piebald female. 
go ahead and get a good spot to claim her in. In fact, I think we can probably just use her leg to claim it on. There we go. There is that piebald female mule deer. Not too bad at all. Once again, like I was saying, at least it's the nice pattern. That is pretty sweet. There is a decent size level four. Uh, we just hit 1034 though, so they are starting to go away from their zones. We're gonna have to be quick to try and get around this lake so we can actually get a shot on this mule deer. Otherwise, it's gonna be long gone. All right, we got it attentive now. We're at 135. I guess we will try and get this guy down now. Let's actually use the 357 since that's the one that I really wanted to try out today. Looks like we got some more mule deer over there too. But this is the guy that we're after. Actually don't know where he's gone. He's somewhere in here. There we go. That should be a good shot. It's just gonna be a matter of, did it have enough penetration to actually reach the vitals? Because 357's pretty weak at that range, so we're just gonna have to see. We're just gonna have to see if it was good or not. It's dying very slow, so I don't think we hit vitals. Since that's the case, let's just go ahead and take it down with the 30 out six. Just to ensure that it goes down. There, we got him down. So that's unfortunate that the 357 doesn't have enough penetration at that range. So I guess we will have to get closer with it. So that's kind of sad. I was hoping we would be able to take some long range 357 shots, but at least the 454 can do the long range shots. Yeah, one of these other hits was a vital shot it looks like. So we, we probably didn't even need to put that third shot in, but it got him down anyway. So let's see the first one. Oh, wow. Okay, so. The 357 did hit long. It just dies extremely slow. That is actually pretty incredible. We waited a good 15 seconds after we shot it and its health was still not going down. So they die so slow with the 357. That's kind of weird. Kind of weird that it takes that long. You would think that it wouldn't. But I guess that just shows how weak the 357 really is in Call of the Wild. So. So I decided to come back to the lake that we just killed that mule deer at so that we could get one of these level threes that was here and we got this little guy right here so we're gonna go ahead and take a shot. That should be good. We just gotta remember that it takes quite a bit of time for the 357 to cause them to start losing HP. So yeah, that's the only unfortunate thing about using it but at least it does kill them just takes quite some time because as you can see he's finally losing some HP all right here is our little mule deer let's go ahead and look at where we hit this guy so that was actually a double lung shot so even with a double lung shot it still took quite a bit for him to go down as you can see 517 meters of tracking so that's pretty crazy definitely very underpowered compared to the other handguns being the 454 and the 44 Magnum, so I would definitely not recommend using the 357 on Mule Deer, but if you're looking for a challenge, it might be the way to do it for you. Oh, look what we have here. Uh, this isn't exactly something we can take with any of the handguns we have on us, but that's pretty cool. We got ourselves another light brown turkey. Uh, we'll go ahead and just pop that with the 22, just to get it down. And that should take care of that. All right, well, here it is. A little light brown female turkey. This seems to be the most common rare by quite a bit. I see a lot of these compared to the other rares. Still really cool to find though. We'll tax that and throw it somewhere in the lodge. Not exactly sure where yet, but definitely a nice find. Beautiful. Okay, so that right there is a pretty good sized pronghorn. Now, normally at this location, I would just shoot one so I can get the rest of them to spook out of the reeds, but since we're using handguns, I'm not sure if we'll be able to get a second one. But we'll try. We'll do our best and see what we can make out of it. 
but I'm really hoping that we get a chance to take a second shot on these guys. We're going to get a little bit further up. This should be good enough. We'll try with the 357 and see what we can do here. And we did hit it. It's just a matter of did we get vitals or not. Alright, so it did die. Looks like we did clip the vitals. I didn't see anything else big run out, so... That's kind of unfortunate. I was hoping we'd have a nice level 5 or something run out of there, but let's go ahead and go grab that nice level 4. See exactly where we hit it with the 357. This has honestly kind of turned into just a hunt for pretty much whatever we find. It started out as me wanting to go for some mule deer, but since the mule deer weren't really cooperating, I've kind of just started hunting whatever we have around here. We did get that nice piebald at the beginning, which was pretty sweet, and that light brown turkey, but I was really hoping we could get a nice mule deer buck today, but so far, no luck with that. So we're gonna kind of just kill whatever we can, just so we can get used to the handguns a little bit more. Maybe we can get a shot on one of these. Alright, so yeah, three shots on that pronghorn and it did pretty much nothing. That say feels bad, but... We did double lung this one, so that's good to know. Even a double lung on a pronghorn didn't bring it down very fast, sadly. So I don't think there's any way that female is going to die, so we're probably just going to move to another spot. Alright everybody, we are in the trophy lodge now. I could not find anything else to shoot. I spent about another 20 minutes searching around, but just couldn't get within range of anything. So I decided we would just go ahead and end it there. So let's go ahead and set some stuff up. We got this turkey right here. We will need to see if we can maybe get another couple good males to make a multi-mount again, because we already put together that one multi-mount right here. As you guys can see, that has a light brown turkey female and a light brown male, along with our diamond, but it'd be cool to get a second one going. Uh, let's go ahead and find a place for that little piebald doe. I think we have to go upstairs to actually find a plaque for her, because we've used up quite a bit of the mounts that are down on the first floor, so it's going to be hard to actually put them anywhere from now on. But hopefully we can find ourselves a little spot, and I think we can temporarily just put her here, actually. So for now, she can go right in this little spot, but she'll get moved eventually, but yeah, not too bad at all. A decent little hunt for something that was, at the beginning, just going to be testing out some of the handguns and seeing how they were performing since a lot of you have requested handguns, but we did end up coming across a couple tr cool trophies in the process, so... Hope you guys enjoy the video, but that is going to be it for me. If you are new here and you are liking what you see, consider subscribing to the channel and turning notifications on. Also, if you want to help the channel grow, be sure to like the video because this alone can help the video and my channel do better. But that's going to be it for me. Peace, my dudes. I hope you all have a fantastic day.